cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there. I hope everyone in my Scorpio collective is doing well. So this is going to be your horoscope for, we're going to say September the 18th through the 20th, okay? So if anything happened to resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. All right, you guys, so we are all on this journey, okay? We're growing, evolving, trying to become the best versions of ourselves, right? But on this journey, you know, along the way, if you are changing, if you are working on yourself, you know, there are some things that you're no longer going to be available for. You can't make yourself be available for these type of energies, right? So let's pull and see what we're talking about. All right, so the 18th through the 20th, what should my Scorpios no longer be available for, okay? People who enjoy putting other people down, okay? These are family members, you know, or whoever it is, co-workers, friends, like they never enjoy, you know, uplifting people. They don't ever talk about the good things that's going on in people's life. It's always, you know, those people that focus on the negative. You know, they always want to call and gossip about what's going on with this and what's going on with that person, okay? So people who enjoy putting other people down, we're going to make ourselves available to them people, okay? Anything or anyone that's going to hinder your abundance, we're all trying to live abundant lives. Okay, we all, for some of us, you know what I'm saying, we got some financial issues, right? Okay, me too. But it's like you want to live this life of abundance. You don't want to be, you know, strapped for cash all the time or just getting by, you know. But sometimes we have people in our energy that can be low vibration. And I've said this before, you guys, when you, it's kind of like when you lay with dogs, you get fleas, right? If you sit there and lay down with some dogs, they got fleas, eventually your ass going to get fleas too, right? So if you put yourself or surround yourself around people who are very negative, you know, they have a negative spirit about them, then these could be things that's going to hinder. These are things that's going to block and delay your abundance, your blessings that's coming in, okay? Then we have, I'm no longer available for past relationships that brought the worst out of me, okay? So a lot of us, hey, we've had our past relationships currently or just recently, you know, separated from someone for our past. From our past or you know this has already happened but some of those relationships really brought out the worst you know we're, we're trying to be around people that's going to bring out the best in us not the worst okay so i feel like all of us can think about a past relationship like i literally just got out of one you know but it was like that person didn't bring out the best in you you know you start to see some of your worst of qualities or you start to maybe backtrack to the things that you used to do in the past and he's like oh no i'm already you know what i'm saying then did this so you know, for some of you guys, if you were in a past relationship and that person brought out the worst in you, then don't go spend that block, baby. Do not go be back with that person unless they have totally a 100, 1,000% changed, okay? So let's get a little bit of advice from Spirit and then we're going to get into the reading. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What advice do you have for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? What advice do you have for Scorpio? All right, we have have faith in the process, Scorpio. Ooh, y'all know what? This morning I was in the shower <laughs> and I had to sing just this old church song, you guys. You know, I grew up, my dad is a, is a preacher, you know, so I grew up in the church, okay? So I'm going to try to sing this song because I feel like this could be helpful for you guys as well as me, okay? So we have this, okay, we have walk by faith and have faith in the process, okay? So there's a church song and it goes, We've come this. Full of faith, leaning on the road, trusting in his only word. Doom, doom, doom. He never failed me yet, and I'm singing, on. oh, 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 can't turn around. We come this far. 
So I hope that hope that was a little helpful for some of you. I feel like right now a lot of you guys, include me, our faith, our commitment is being tested. You know, we say we believe in Holy Spirit. We say we know Spirit is going to do this and do that. But sometimes we have to walk by faith. You know what I'm saying? We be looking for shit, but we're not going to see the shit that we're looking for. Okay? And that's why you have to walk. Man, I got a Bible scripture right here. All right. I got a Bible scripture. Sorry. I cut it out too soon. Okay? Have faith in the process. But if we do not, but if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Okay? Let me read that again. But if we hope, for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Okay, now I don't, I have some little Bible scriptures around here. You know, I, I'm someone, I used to try to read the Bible, but you know, you have to have a, a great understanding and a great teacher to help you, right? But there were certain scriptures that when I was going to church, you know, that stood out to me, okay? And you see, I got to be patient. You guys, you know, we the worst signs when it comes to patience. Like, we be wanting some shit quick, fast, and in a hurry, right? But you have to understand you're on a pathway to change. You could be seeing 515, 555. Like you've been seeing these numbers and synchronicities letting you know that things are about to change in your life, right? And for some of us, you know, we could have been dependent on other people. We could have had some help. But it's like sometimes we have to learn how to stand on our own, okay? And this kind of reminds me, uh, I ain't even want to have to get into that. We'll, we'll get into that later, okay? But I feel like, you know, there are certain instances where, you know, you depend or you expect someone to be there, you know, to, to do this and do that. But a lot of times, shit, we got to learn how to stand on our own to them, you know, and that, that helps build our stability and help build a firm foundation for ourselves here, okay? All right, y'all. So let's get into it. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios, what do they need to know? All right, messages to Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? All right, we got case of rise to rise. Okay, so this is kind of like it is what it is. You know, like there could be a situation that's kind of like, you know, it is what it is. Like there, you can't control it. Ain't nothing that you can do about it, okay? Tell us more. So the 18th through the 20th, there can be a situation, you know, it is what it is. You know, like. There's nothing that you can do. You can't force the income, I mean, the outcome. You can't force anything when it comes to this particular situation, okay? Now, we got the doors are flying open. So, this could be some type of opportunity, okay? You could be seeing numbers and synchronicities, okay? You're being called to have strength here. This could be something that's going to happen in divine time, okay? But there could be an opportunity or something where the doors are going to fly open. So, like a windstorm, or like some coming in, like a whirlwind here. Tell us more. The 18th through the 20th for Scorpio. Ooh, look at this, y'all. <laughs> y'all, we got jackpot. Okay, some of y'all could be hitting the jackpot. Okay, we're talking about some type of unexpected money or something here. Because remember, you're you you're being called to have faith in the process. I feel like for some of you, you've been waiting on some type of financial freedom or financial um like some type of financial breakthrough here. Okay. All right, then we got, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this gives me the energy of, like, someone trying to talk to you about some shit. And you're like, man, yeah, whatever. Okay, that's this case of rise It is what it is. That's that energy here, okay? Tell us more for Scorpio. We're going to clarify this. All right, we got foolish here. And this is this person right here. You got a clown in your energy. And I feel like this is someone who's going to be trying to talk to you or tell you something. And you're going to be like, yeah, whatever, motherfucker. I ain't trying to hear that shit, okay? But beware of this person because they are foolish. They could be a clown. They can act the ass, okay? Let's get one more. Damn. I ain't going to take all these. All right, let's get one more. Messages for my Scorpios, 18 through the 20th. What does Scorpio need to know? And then we'll, I guess, look at the energy. We got to tough it out. So there's a situation right now, and I feel like right now you're being called to tough it out, okay? You're being called to stand in your power, Scorpio. This ain't your first roller coaster when it comes to this situation, right? You're being called to tough it out because right now there is possibly nothing else that you can do, okay? And I feel like for some of you, this could be like, you know, money-wise, like you're waiting for something. You're like, well, blue flame, I just can't sit here and not do nothing, you know, and I got bills and stuff to be paid. But I feel like right now, spirit is wanting you to tough a situation out, okay? I feel like they got you. 
but they're trying to teach you how to stand on your own two feet, okay? You are on this pathway to change. Things are going to change in your life. Some of you could be experiencing some, some type of financial pinch or something, but I feel like there's going to be an opportunity. Some of you are going to see some numbers. You're going to see lots of numbers and synchronicities. With it. This could give me something to happen in the morning time, but with this strong, you're being called to just stand here in your power and let the universe, let your angels work some shit out for you, okay? All right, so let's get, let's pull just a couple of cards with this energy. Got to keep moving this mic out because I had it down below and you couldn't hear me, okay? So let's see what the energy is here around us, surrounding this reading, and then we'll clarify, okay? The 18th through the 20th for Scorpio. What do they need to know? All right, so we got a situation that is what it is. You're being called to tough something out. Okay, there can be an opportunity or something where the doors are going to fly open. This is going to be like a, a windfall or a whirlwind or something. Like I said, we got this jackpot. You got this money falling, baby. Okay, falling from the sky, falling from somewhere. So we're going to put that together because we got this yeah, 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 and this foolish person to the side here, okay? All right, messages for Scorpio. What is the energy around this reading? And what is the energy surrounding this reading for my Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. Okay, so what is the energy surrounding this reading for Scorpio? What is the energy surrounding this reading? Okay, Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces here. All right, so what is the energy surrounding this reading? Okay, so we got somebody whose priorities could be up to opposite. This is someone who prioritizes things over other things that's not important, you know? This could be someone who's jealous. They could be jealous of you. They can be jealous of this income. Okay, then we also have a fire sign. We have Aries, Leo, and Sag here, okay? And I feel like this person who their priorities is fucked up, I feel like this this person, they want to come in and talk or say something. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to hear that shit, okay? Let's get a couple of more. Look at this, because they want to start over, yep. But for some of you, you realize you and this person are not on the same level here, okay? And this could be what's making this person want to act a fool, you know? Let's pull one more look for some of you guys, because they want to talk. This could be someone who wants to talk, okay? They want to have a conversation. They want to say something, like I said, but I feel like you guys, you ain't trying to hear then that this person got to say. I feel like for some of y'all, like all this talking they trying to do now, you like, shit, where all that talk was at when I was trying to get you to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to get you to open up and communicate. Like, where the fuck was you at then? Where was your antennas then? Okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. So let's pull. Let's pull on this foolish energy. Yeah, let's pull on this foolish energy. Because some of y'all got somebody that's a fool that's in your energy, okay? I seen the move, so something could have been revealed to you about this person. Or something could have been exposed to you. You know, you could have been in the dark about something about this person, but it's like now you're no longer in the dark. You're able to see some things. Tell us about foolish. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Tell us about foolish for Scorpio. Let me get one more. Tell me about foolish for Scorpio. Who is this person want to act a damn fool? Tell me about foolish. It's because my time make this up. This person want to offer you a couple of. I'm saying they want to start over. For some of you, you could have recently separated from this person. You know what I'm saying? You could have recently walked away. You could have recently cut them off. You could have blocked them. Whatever it was. But this is someone that wants to make an offer to you. Okay, this is a love offer. They want to start over. And I feel like for some of you, not accepting this person's cup, not accepting this person's offer, like it could be a problem here. Tell us more about foolish all the spirit. This could be a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It don't have to be that sign. That's just the energy, right? So tell us about foolish for Scorpio. Who is this person that's acting foolish? Hmm. Okay, six of swords. Yeah, for some of you guys, what did I say? You had to walk away from this person, okay? This is a turbulent situation that you endured, and you were trying to move to some calmer waters, okay? But this card came out in reverse. So some of you guys, this person may possibly try to sabotage. Like, if you haven't walked away from this person and moved on, you know, this could be someone that, that says something or does something to try to keep you stuck or they try to sabotage you moving away from them. Like, this is someone who really doesn't want to let you or this connection go. Okay? Look at this. I can't make this up. Eight of cups. You walked away from this person. This is the person we're talking about. Now, there could have been a lot of feelings and emotions. You know, you had a lot of love for this person here. This could be a Scorpio. 
Hey, Scorpio. No, this Pisces. This is Pisces energy, okay? You could have walked away because it was like this person wants to steal in you. You know, when you reviewed each one of those cups, this person had nothing to offer you. Every last one of them cups was empty, okay? And for some of you, you had to turn your back. You had to walk away. But you see these mountains here? These stands for obstacles and challenges, okay? For some of us, you could have had someone, like I said, that could have been provided and take care of you. And it's like now, you know, you're having to figure out, well, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Because this is the main person who was providing for you. Like I said, something could have been, been revealed about this person or you could have found out something here. But it was like you had to walk away. And that's why you're being told to have faith and trust this process here, okay? Trust whatever, trust that the universe is going to provide for you. That you're not going to have to stress about these things. and Everything is going to be all right. Now, during this time, you may have to tough it out. Like I said, because there is nothing that you can do at this moment, okay? But I feel like the universe is about to make some moves for you, baby. Okay, the doors are about to fly open. And I feel like you're going to hit the jackpot. For some of you, this could be some type of unexpected income. This could be someone who possibly be giving to you, you know? But I feel like this, this could be your opportunity. I feel like the universe is making available to help you out of some type of hard times or hardship that you're going through. So let's see the signs here. We got Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we also have Pisces here. So let's get the signs. Let's see who this reading is about. All right, so we got Heavy Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus. Scorpio, Taurus, Sag, Pisces. Cancer, Libra, Pisces, and Aries. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.